Okay. All right. Well, we're out here. We're going to cut a tree down. Ray wants to know how to do this without killing himself. Exactly. This is Ray, the soil guy. I know about soil, but I don't know how to take a tree down right. So teach me, George, what, how in the world are we going to do this? Okay. Well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to clear all the little brush around here because we don't want to be tripping and falling while we're trying to cut this tree down. Or maybe having a quick escape route. Yeah, and having a, <laughs> and that's a very important thing you just brought up. That's right? true. You always want to have a clear way to get away from the stump. Like right here, Yeah, that's trip deep. hazards right here. So we want to clean that up a little bit. Yeah, take those out of the way. Because if something happens, you want to get out of there fast. Okay, so ideally, now this tree here is leaning uphill. And what we want to do is we want to try to aim for those that stump right there. Mm -hmm. so we, we, we want to put that up there. Um, so the first thing you told me right away, clear the area. That's one. Yeah. Two, make an assessment of the tree and where it's going to fall, right? So right. How do you do that? Okay, so you want to look up the tree and you want to you want to see you know which way of center it's leaning. Okay, so when we look up back here, it's pretty much straight up and down uh -huh. so then you just make your way around the tree a quarter at a time now right here it's over center this direction okay so now i want to go here and it's pretty much straight up in the air here so i'm going to come along okay and now we got a slight lean going this way so you're trying to determine george the weight distribution of the top canopy correct right and then you want to kind of kind of plan if you've got more weight on one side that's going to determine how this tree's going to fall yep or, or how yep. contribute to it right yep as much as you can you want to just try to fall the tree the way the tree wants to fall ah if you've got stuff obstructions in the way you got to adjust a little bit and do some hinging and things like that but primarily when you're cutting big trees like this these oak trees you want to just find the way they want to go and you want to try to put them down that way and if you got to clear a few little trees out of the way that's what you do. That's what my dad always taught me. Just take all the little stuff and just cut it right down to the ground. Get it out of your way and cut it up. Make sure that you have a strategy, a plan, because this is a very dangerous job, right? Right. This right. could go very wrong very fast. Yeah, and I think that's why you, we, we talked about We kind of laugh that this is kind of a a, a way to escape, but there's there's some reasoning to it. Well, it's it's true. You know, it, if, if something goes wrong, you want to be able to get away because... If this thing comes down or it barber chairs, now barber chairing is when it splits in half and the top of the tree splits and it'll come right down on top of you. You don't want that to happen at all. Any other critical things that we need to think about, George, when having the proper saw? And how about the sharpness of the, of the chain? Does that Sharp. matter? Yes. You do not want to start cutting these trees down with a dull chain. That's a recipe for disaster. Mm. Because you're not... You're not going to have the speed that you need to get the wood cut to get it to fall down safely. Ah, good. Because it's going to start going, and once it starts going, it's going to start breaking. And if you can't cut faster than it breaks, it's going to barber chair, like I was saying. So, folks, we want to leave you with this. If you have problems, call 1-800-GEORGE. <laughs> George Feller, the hell, George Heller, the feller. Yeah. Cool. So I'll get this area prepped around the tree, and I'll get my notch started, and, and we'll... Uh, Let's watch it grow. Put it down. Let's watch it fall. Okay. I think I'm going to change my target, actually. Where are you going to change it to? I think I'm going to put it right there. Ah. Yeah, now I'm looking at it closer. That's what I'm okay, so then we're going to have to cut it kind of to kind of not block my road? Well, we might have to cut a log off of it so you can get around it. Okay, well, that sounds good. Let's do it. Yeah.
the notch cut, and now we're going to start our back cut. So we've got our notch cut, now we're going to start our back cut. Um, I start on the far side, and then I pull the saw around so that I'm getting on the same plane as the bottom of my face cut. Question, George. I noticed that you did this back. Yeah. It, you didn't go this way. Yeah. You went from the back in. Yeah. Is the reason why you did that? Because I don't like the sawdust getting all over me. Ah. <laughs> I feel. That's my reason. The I, only reason, probably. That's that's my reason. I don't like the sawdust flying on me and getting in my face and stuff. Okay, so a question here, George. Angle. I noticed, look at the angle right here that you cut. What angle is this? Why, why did you cut it this way? Please tell us why. What was your thought process? Well, and how far did you go in? So I went, come on this side here. So I, I didn't want to go quite halfway. You want to go, I don't know, I would say, you know, a third, a little yeah. over a third of the way through. Because what you don't want to do is you, you don't want to get your face cut so far in that you don't have any hinge wood to aim your tree with. What does it mean by hinge wood? So hinge wood is the wood that's left between the face cut and the back cut while you're cutting it. It's this space right here. What, 15%, 20%? Nah, you know, 10% 10? 10 of the tree. Do they call the hinge like the hinge of a door? That's, that's exactly right, Ray. Okay. So what, what, what's the so big deal? Uh, why so, is that so important? So when you're cutting a tree down, and if you get to start on the back and just whip through this thing without leaving some kind of hinge wood there, what can happen is if you get it cut off, this tree can actually spin on the stump and go in a direction you don't want it to go. So we leave the hinge wood there to anchor it to the stump while it's falling. And then once it gets to a certain point, you go ahead and you cut that hinge wood off when it's already falling the way you want it to fall. Man, George, listening to you, it seems like we have, to, we have to have a lot of physics and a lot of geometry and kind of thought process. There's like a lot into cutting trees down. It's not anything to be taken lightly, especially when you're doing with big trees like this. Wow. That, I, well, I, uh, I'm learning a lot. So that hinge is very important. And again, if you want a space of how much? I mean, you want to have, on a tree like this, I would say you want to have about two to three inches of hinge wood there just to hold got it on the stump. Okay, so now that you've got this plan, where are we taking this? Where so, do you want it to go? So now what I did is I, okay, let's put the saw in there and we can kind of show you Perpendicular. how you aim it. So the saw's in there where I cut. So on the saw here, there's a black line. That's actually your sight. That's your sight line. You stand here and line up with your sight line, and that's where the tree is going to go. Okay? Wow, George. You're teaching me a lot of things. What's I the other way you can here? do it? Put the bar perpendicular and you can, into the tree. You can, you can go this way, too. You know? Or or like this, George. Here, yeah, like that. Like that? Straight on, and that'll tell you where your tree is going, like so. Yep. Oh. yep. Well, how's that? Well, look, at, look where it's pointing. Yeah, if you put your bar you know perpendicular to your face cut it'll point out the direction the tree is going to go but while you're cutting you use this guide to, to aim it to where you're going to go hmm. this guide right here right wow. and then you use that on the back cut as well so let's get the back cut going yeah
cooked it. Uh, le- so I didn't do this quite right. So if I was production logging, I just messed that I log. just messed up this much of the tree for lumber production. Ooh. So, but it's okay because this this log's got a big flare on the butt. So this flare, this flare, you would just take. So if we were doing production logging, and we this is going to be a log, we would take a firewood block off of here, and then we would measure it out to our desired length. This tell is us, not tell, ideal. Tell us about the hinge. If in an ideal world, how much would you have left? So, well, at, I did leave that hinge this much, you know, when when I was cutting, but then. If you notice when the tree started falling, I leaned that I leaned that saw in there. And I left this end of the bar out to leave this wood here because I've got trees over here. Mm-hmm. I wanted this part of the tree to start going over this direction. Got rid of that spider, sorry. So I cut this clean through and I left this because this is the anchor to hold that tree from spinning on the stump and it aimed it right to where we wanted it to go. Well, you know, George, you did it, it where you said it was going to go. That's where it went. That's awesome. How many trees have you cut in your life, George, to get this down? Thousands. Thousands of trees. Thousands of trees. Another thing you're going to learn about George is kick on the stump. <laughs> He's a heck of a feller. Yes, I think. Heller. So, heck of a feller. Heller. So tune in. If you want to learn from George... Again. George has got a heck of a good YouTube channel. Absolutely. What is it, George? It's just my name, George Heller. You can search it up. We got, you know, we, we do sheep and cattle, and that's what we're all about. Logging, too. You know, in the future, I'm going to try to get a little more stuff like that. Concrete. I might, I'm tempted to put a couple concrete videos up if anybody wants to see that. So. Awesome.